Lance quarters, here we come. You can see in the distance. Field south of the creek. Originally in clover and oats. Overrun with Lance quarter. So going out and mowing down the weeds. I'm a little late. Probably should have done it a month ago. Closer, how tall they are. Here's where Denver and the combine. You see that green spot where the clover is uh, recovering. Elsewhere is where I mowed just yesterday. And, uh, still pretty raw, but see these lambs quarters are huge. Stalks are pretty thick, and then this is a piece of equipment we have to take them down. It'd be nice to have a flail chopper or a bigger mower, but this is it. So, about 10 acres. Um, and the shed. Okay, bye. So I'm here underneath the uh, hood. The holes from the oats overheat the radiator, so I periodically have to take up and uh, lift the hood up and not walk underneath the bucket and clean out those holes. Also wanted to give you a close-up. You look at these, this clover here. It, it's pretty healthy, pretty thriving, despite all the ragweed. Of course, this area, we're in the far uh, western uh, corner of the field, doesn't have as much ragweed. It's pretty light, but the clover came in pretty good, and you see all the uh, the oat straw and then the lodged oats. The oats, uh, oats all got blown over. There really wasn't much to harvest here, but hopefully some of this clover will come back, and actually there might even be some, you can kind of see it here, some seeds of oats uh, germinated. I believe that these, are, these are oats that are going to, you know, they'll winter kill, but uh, they'll provide some organic matter to uh, hopefully soak up some of this nitrogen that the clover is producing. Okay, that's uh, all for now. Bye. Another view. We're looking up toward the uh, farm building. There's the neighbor's soybeans. Here's where I've cut off in the distance. See where I still have to cut. overheating again, and then over here on the left, to the south, is uh, corn, about 10 acres of corn, maybe 20 acres, maybe 20 acres. Um, and okay, bye-bye.